Great. Hello, everyone. I can't see the interpreter. Okay, fine. Uh, let's go ahead. Hello, everyone. I'm John Eddington, Sorensen District Manager for the state of Maryland and Virginia. I've always enjoyed going yearly to celebrate communication and being at the live booth. Now, this year, it's virtual. Wow. With COVID, it's different. Hashtag annoying. I know with COVID, it's important that we be safe and everyone stay healthy. Our company has been around since 2003, and now it's 2020. That's 17 years since we've been in operation. Our company is the only one company that has made the VP from scratch. We don't buy it from a platform store or have it delivered or assembled. No, our VP is built from scratch 100%. It has a rotating visual light signaler that the deaf person needs and a handheld remote controller and other features that I will explain next. Now, we made four models of VPs, four models. The VP100, the VP200, remember that? The third one was the N-Touch VP, and the fourth was the N-Touch VP2. And soon, there will be a fifth model coming out soon. It's coming. I know you're excited about it, but yes, it's coming. How do we improve all these models? Well, we have deaf consumers who inform us. We always are taking the pulse of the people to see what they want, what their needs are. We ask them and then we gather the information and we present it to the engineers who build it and then we release it to you. The new VP is set up on a permanent stand with a monitor. We will provide a 13 inch, an 18 inch, a 24 inch or a 32 inch monitors. The latter of course is only for those with special needs and have visual issues. If you want to use your own large TV monitor for display and prefer to use that, that's, that's okay. What we have for VRS is first group chat with up to 10 people at a time. 10 people can be seen on the screen. If you want more than 11 or 12 or more people, then you have to ask me for permission. You can have set that up for up to 32 people. That can be set up for you. Amazing, 32 people lined up in rows on the display on your screen for organizations or club, your work environment, or just to hang out with your friends, have alumni reunions with deaf school friends, high school groups, etc. Remember, if there are more than 11 people, it's called VPCC, VP for conference call, and if 10 or less, it's called a group call. Okay. We do have, you know, a mobile app, Sorensen app. You may also have a Yelp search app on your phone. Suppose you're on vacation in Florida, and let's say you and your family are in the mood for Chinese food, and you need to know where to go, what's good, where you're in Florida and you're not sure where to go. You can click Around Me option on the Yelp list. Choose a restaurant and then click on the phone link and your call will go directly to an interpreter who will then call the restaurant and you can put your order in. Nice. We have something new called Wavello. It's signed like this. You know, every day when you make a typical relay call, you can see the interpreter only and not the person you are connected to. For example, you could call your mom, but not, you would not see her. However, now with Wivello, you can see your mom and you can see the interpreter, all three, and you will be on the screen. How this works to set up, the hearing person themselves need to download the app called Wavello. Download the app. It's free. Register and then click on the box to be recognized. Then you call the interpreter who will connect your mom and click on the screen under My View to bring in your mom and you'll be able to see each other. You can show pictures, call your kids, to come over and chat, 
you still be able to see the interpreter and your mom. You will be able to see anything you hold up to the screen to show. Amazing. We also have a call transfer to and from mobile devices, PCs, or tablets. For example, maybe I'm chatting with someone on my computer and my mother comes in and reminds me we need to go to the store now. I'm in the middle of something so I can transfer the call to another device so I don't have to hang up. I just transfer to my mobile device, walk and then sit in the car and continue the call on the mobile device while my wife drives and I can still be signing with the person on my mobile device. Another feature I use with my family, who are all deaf, we all have the Sorensen app amongst us. So if someone calls and I answer, but they want to talk to my daughter, I can transfer it to her, to her personally identifiable ring, but my daughter will only get that. It's a very nice feature. To apply for a Sorensen account, you can be any age. Anyone under 18, of course, must have a minor application, but it's easy. The VP recipient must have a high-speed internet. If you want to have VP service, you don't have to have a VP. You can use the service on a mobile device, on your laptop or tablet. You will have one number called My Phone, which will be on all the devices. If someone calls that number, the ringer will be seen on all the devices. You choose which to answer, click to answer, and then have your conversation. Nice. Callers can leave a message on any of them, and you can retrieve the message from any of them. You can also save hearing and deaf people's phone numbers and names in the Sorensen app phone book. All the names and numbers are then synced across all your devices. Our Sorensen interpreter numbers are expanding. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of interpreters there for you to answer quickly. They are qualified interpreters, yes, and we are expanding. Not just VRS, we are expanding to live physical interpreters to be included in Zoom meetings. If you need an interpreter, contact us. We can help for a meeting like Zoom, MS Teams, Google Go To Meetings, really any meeting, even Microsoft Meet. We are available there for you. Also, we can go physically to and show up for meetings such as for federal work assignments associations, educational meetings, nonprofit and for-profit organizations. You call us, we'll provide, we'll be there. For virtual meetings too, we do provide captions. These are caption calls for people who have hearing loss, who can speak for themselves but cannot hear enough and they prefer to read the text. We can do that. We do have VCO, or voice carryover. This is for people who have a hearing loss who can speak for themselves. The interpreter does not voice for that person. The interpreter only signs for the other party. The person with the hearing loss can listen and watch the interpreter to understand. We have that system also. Nine one one connecting is fast. Clicking on the nine one one and it goes to the Sorensen call center that already has the address already saved. You don't have to tell them where. They will be on the road where you are. But if you are out in the field, you have to share your location. Our customers are amazed and love it. For example. They're in a car and they're driving and they have broken down. Something happened. So they call an interpreter. They connect to the towing company 
and the company has informed of the location by GPS. The interpreter receives the location and the cross streets and can share the GPS information with the towing company. This is not only via an interpreter. It can be used between two deaf people. You can call and say you're lost and need directions and the person you're visiting can share the location and information with you. You can toggle between two screens the video and the map information. If you're driving and you can't find the house, you can call by video. The house information and location can be shared, and then when you hang up from the video call, the map, and whatever direction app you're using, you can still see on the screen. It's a nice feature. For more information, or if you want to take a look at what we have, visit our webpage. Simply, it's www. SorensenVRS.com. If you want to contact me, you can call me on my video phone, the same phone number. I have had it since 2003. 331 637 4389. I'll type it here and on the Celebrate Communication link. Okay, I'm finished, I guess. <laughs>